The Dex Legacy is intended for a mature, adult audience and contains themes that some may find upsetting. A comprehensive list of trigger warnings covering the entire season can be found in the show notes. Previously on The Dex Legacy. After commissioning a new type of missile from the Munitions Empire Dex Industries, the Zenosi government used it to end a 12-year conflict with the island of Rhone. They hoped to make a decisive point. What they did was commit the entire population to oblivion in one devastating blow. This catastrophic event sent shockwaves through global politics and heralded the dawn of a bright new era for Dex Island. After years of uncertainty, they were finally recognised as an independent nation, and Nathaniel Dex was invited to join the International Confederation of World Leaders. In the meantime, Varian, Isra and Ren, Nathaniel's adopted children and advanced soldier prototypes, faced many challenges during their first overseas deployment in Dominar. On returning to Dex Island, Nathaniel Dex rewarded their exemplary performance with command over the entire Dex military. They shared a brief hope that this would mean an end to their suffering, only to face new rounds of needless torture, dangerous treatments, and life-threatening side effects. Their next deployment takes them to the Blood Road, the border between Aterra and North Jakra, where a faction of Aterran nationalists are encroaching on North Jakran territory. But if Ren's last revelation comes to pass, it will be their last. Together they stand on the bridge of the Dex flagship, Angel City. Season 2, Episode 1, Nets, starring Chris Gregory, Warren Graham, Annika Cordes, Louis Watson, Kamara Elliott, Kelsey Griffin, Charlie Richards, and Emily Inkman. It is a beautiful night to get this bird back in the air. Raya, we set. All cargo and personnel loaded and on board, Idris. We're waiting on Varian, Isra, and Ren. As usual. Ah, oh, here they come. Power up the engines and uh, give me a full overview once they're online. All engines enabled. Oh, they're on board. Closing front lower hatch. Engage thrusters. Thrusters engaged. Countdown to takeoff. Hey, kids. Glad you could join us. Idris. It's good to be back. Ready for your next deployment? Ready for a few months of freedom from this place. Same. Just show me the fight. Plenty of fighting where you're going. Raya, take her up. I wonder if we'll be happy to see Dex Island again. We were after Domino. We won't be seeing Dex Island again, Isra. What? What are you talking about, Rin? We won't be seeing Dex Island again because we're going to escape. And I know how. All right, kids. How long have we got to clear out these deterrents? Did the president say? Kids. Oh, um, between one and two weeks. All right. It's going to take a few hours to get there. Yep. We should go plan. Isra, Ren, with me. I wonder if they ever had a plan. Ren, what the hell is this about? What do you mean, we're going to escape? Start talking now. I worked it out. I worked out how we can do it. For real this time? Ren, it's been years since you've come up with a plan. What about our chips? 
We have to get them out or disable them before we go anywhere. If we leave them in, they can track us and they can kill us at the push of a button. We're just asking for death if we don't do something to them first. Have you thought of a way? Yes. It sounds like there's a but in there. Ren, if this involves performing minor surgery on each other, I'm out. Our chips are embedded right next to our spines, so getting them out would be pretty major surgery, actually. <sighs> Is you're not going to like this. What do you mean? In fact, I'm pretty sure you'll hate me for even suggesting it, but it's the only thing that's ever disabled one before. Oh. No. Is, let's just talk about it for a minute. What is it? No! I mean, how... How, how could you even... I know, but... Isra, Ren, tell me what's going on. <sighs> the Dominosi net. Oh, God, that's... Is, are you okay? I'm going to be sick. Is. What are you thinking? Yeah, it's the only way. She'll never be able to do it. She might. It's worth a shot. Anything is worth a shot. And you're thinking of doing it while we're out here? On the blood road? It's perfect timing. Whilst we're on the Jackron continent, there's loads of places we can go. Whilst we're on Dex Island, we're trapped. But if we can disable our chips and get away this week, we'll be... Well, we'll have a chance. Is? I can't believe you. Is it disabled your chip? It's the only thing we've seen do that before. You must have realized what it could mean. I was fully aware of what it meant when I was paralyzed in that cave. I knew exactly what it meant when, as soon as we got back, Devek drugged me and injected another chip into my spine to replace the old one. I've known what it meant in every flashback and every nightmare since. Don't think for a moment that I don't know what that net means. And you think I haven't thought about that too? I slaughtered all of the people in that cave. The participants, the bystanders, the injured and helpless. I was right there when they replaced your chip. I've been with you through every nightmare since. I'm not an idiot, Is. And neither am I. I know. Which is why I know you know this is the only way. Do you even have one? One what? A Dominosi net. Oh, yeah. How? Osa had one in her lab. She told us she used it to make sure our new uniforms would be resistant to similar weapons. And how did you get it? I had... help. So somebody else knows about this? Sort of. Friends, stop being obtuse. Auto. Hello, Ren. Auto, tell them. You want me to explain how you stole the item from Osa's laboratory? Yes. Oh, God. I froze the security camera feeds without stopping the timers, and I unlocked each door for as long as it took Ren to get through them. So you just walked in, took it, and walked out? Pretty much. Ren, she could tell someone. She won't. All conversations are private and encrypted. See? So, Auto, you're on our side. You're helping us. Yes. Where is it? Where's what? Don't make me say it. It's in a locked bag. It was loaded with our other weapons earlier. You're sure? Yes. Is? I, I can't believe you bring that thing anywhere near me, let alone expect me to look at it again or, or touch it. If you, if you just give it some time... No! Just think about it. I've been doing everything I can to never think about that thing ever again. Now, thanks to you, I'm going to have to start all over again. Is, is, sit down. No, I can't. Is, I can't. is deep breaths. Don't touch me! Ren? Get out of here. What? Go! You're making it worse. But I... Get out! F fine! Come on. In through the nose, out through the mouth. God, I'm sorry. What for? I don't know what to say. I was hoping I'd think of something by the time Ren left, but... I'm all out. Stay quiet, then. Do you... I mean... Could you? No. The very idea... I'm... I can't. You don't know. I can't believe he'd do this. What do you mean? He... I thought he understood. Yeah. 
think he probably does. So why? How could he... I don't know what's going on in his head. I do know he wants to escape. We all do. Yeah, exactly. But not like this. How? How then? I don't know. We left it to him. What do you mean? You and me. We stopped coming up with ideas on how to escape because we knew he'd be the one to work it out. We did? Yeah. A few years ago, we just stopped talking about it. We still wanted it, but we left it all to him. What are you saying? I don't know. I, I feel bad, maybe? He's my little brother, and... He's finally come up with an idea that could work. And it's going to hurt you. And I could have told him that. I could have stopped him from taking it this far. But I wasn't there. You shouldn't have to tell him. He should know. He does know. He's thinking big picture, like he always does. Just sometimes he's thinking so big, he misses the 20 metre still wall right in front of us. It's not your fault. Or if it is, then it's on both of us. And I'm not in the mood to be wrong about this. We've got two weeks before we're back on the island, and after that, who knows when we'll get another chance. But a couple of weeks might be long enough for you to be okay with. It won't be. Okay. Then we're not leaving. <sighs> I can't. Varian, don't make me. Please. I'm not going to make you do anything. But I want to get out of here. I want to. So much. None of that would have happened if we weren't... us. If we were somewhere else. I know. But? But we dropped the ball. And left Ren holding it. And he's taken his shot. And this is where we're at. I should go and find him. We need to plan what we're going to do with the others when we arrive. Because I'm not leaving anyone until I know they'll be okay. I'll come and join you in a bit. Okay. Auto? Yes, Israel. How often has Ren spoken to you about escaping? All conversations are private and encrypted. Yeah. Okay. Auto, latest international headlines. From Xenos, an end to international friendships. From North Chakra, promises kept, a secure border. And Eteran nationalists cross the line. From Oskil, Chancellor Ovon Lee and his wife Neverly welcome their first child. <laughs> they only got married five minutes ago. I expect they're hoping no one will do the maths. It doesn't take a mathematician to work that one out. Hypocrites, the lot of them. Everyone is to a degree. Auto, has Angel City reached the blood road yet? Angel City is on course. They have been delayed by easterly winds running along the Gandaraya mountain range. They will be in position in one hour. Good. This nonsense will end sooner with them there. It's better they're out being useful than costing us even more in that lab. Do you not like the lab, Nathaniel? No, Auto. It's necessary, but not somewhere any sane person would want to linger. Do you consider Dr. Devixar and Dr. Osus Rivastava to be insane? <laughs> Good question. I consider them to be scientists. You can't measure people who spend all day mixing bacteria into deadly biological weapons and bombs capable of wiping out entire countries on the same scale as ordinary people. An insane mind cannot produce anything of use. 
A sane mind wouldn't allow itself to be used in such a way. Those two are something else. Some sources have referred to them as geniuses. Yes. Do you consider them to be geniuses? <laughs> I wouldn't work with them if they weren't. And yourself? Do you consider yourself to be sane or a genius? I am merely sane. I would argue that point. My sanity? <laughs> no. But you came from nothing and created the greatest, most innovative munitions empire the world has ever seen. You relocated your company to an island, declared it a country, and now this country is a member of the International Confederation. Some would class that as genius. And yourself? The spy behind the network, inserting your people into every place that matters and quietly pulling the strings while keeping your identity a mystery to all. The strings are yours to pull. I merely relay your instructions and manage the network. Nathaniel! Varian Isran Ran left a huge order behind for drones and missiles, mostly drones. How long will this conflict last? The Eteran ministers are doing their best, O sir. But Northern Eterra is difficult to control and heavily nationalist. It always has been. And the Chancellor of that region is a belligerent idiot. It's a border dispute. They want the land that was taken from them almost a thousand years ago when the Blood Road was built. It's ancient history. Why haven't North Jakra just declared war on Eterra? They have grounds. They don't want a war. It would involve a serious military offensive across the marshes south of the mountains. It would be time-consuming and costly, and they know it. So they'll defend their wall and wait for Aterra to sort itself out? How strong is the Aterran force? There are thousands of them. It's tedious. But with Varian, Isra and Ren there, the Aterran chancellors will sit up and pay attention. Casualties will increase exponentially. And if they have to kill a thousand Aterans, that's what they'll do. She's never going to forgive me. Yes, she will, Ren. It may take a few years and some rough beatings on the training quad, but she'll get there. Variant, this whole thing is meant to get us away from the training quad. Ren, we've got a couple of weeks on the blood road. Give Isra a few days to cool down. Give our troops enough time to settle in. Then, we'll make our move. You think she'll be all right in a few days? Not all right, no. <sighs> but she might be able to at least think about it. That was a big thing to spring on her. I know. It's the last thing I wanted to do, believe me. I know. Do you... Do you think we'll be okay? You know, her and me. How would I know that? Just give her some time. Is you okay? No. What's our plan of attack? Can we talk about this? No. I just need to kill a few things. That's what I need. People, Isra. They're not things. They're people. Auto, bring up a map of the Blood Road and highlight recent activity. All right. We can only defend, we can't attack, which is frustrating. You say that, but I'll be happy to stay on the wall. I've been promised great views, and Faris? is looking forward to clear sniping positions. The main challenge will be the tunnels around the wall. What tunnels? The wall was built a thousand years ago to keep the Aterans out of Chakran mines. But before the Chakrans built the wall, there were villages and towns built into the mountainside itself. The wall cut off loads of Aterans from their homeland. It's been a point of contention ever since. What's this got to do with the tunnels? Well, the towns were built into the mountainside. So there may be passages inside the mountain we don't know about. The old passageways are unmapped, but you can bet our enemy will know their way round. It could be a problem. A problem we won't know the extent of until we arrive. In the meantime, who have we got? Haindos, Varys, Ashin, and Shiv. None of them have seen battle. They weren't with us in Dominar. 
we'll have to look after them. They've got 10 soldiers each. Then we've got all of them plus 20 each under our immediate control. Haindos, Faris, Ashin, Shiv, us three, and 100 soldiers. Plus Raya, for as long as Idris will let us have her. Well, Faris is a distance fighter. She's surgical with her rifles, and her soldiers are almost as good too. Get them up on the mountainside behind the wall, and they can cover us from above. Shiv, Haindos, Ashin, and us three. We're good up close. We should get them to shadow us. That way, one of us will always be with them. Shiv can shadow me. She's great with those knives. And don't get me started on her bladed gauntlets. <laughs> Haindos will shadow me. He's solid and strong. And I could do with him covering my back. We both do well holding ground. We'll let the enemy come to us. That leaves Ash. I can work with him. He's quick enough and he's steady in the head. I just hope that translates to the battlefield. We can mix it up later. Pairing different skills and testing different combinations. If we haven't left by then. If it comes to tunnel fighting, Shiv will do well. And I've got Pax too. She's good in tight spaces. She's crazy. <laughs> we need crazy. Yeah, just not necessarily in a first officer. Don't tell me how to lead my troops, Ren. Or I'll show you how it's done. If it comes to it, I'll do some tunnel fighting. Do you think that's a good idea? After Domina? I'll fight where I like, Ren. What about your first officers? What do you do with them? Mine relays my orders to my troops and keeps them in line, while I lead. Same. You know, like they're meant to. Well, Pax is the best fighter I have, and my troops get the message when it matters. I don't have any trouble. Who delivers that message? I have another one called Jake. He's pretty solid. So he's your first officer? Which would make Pax... Still crazy. Pax is my first. <laughs> Jake's a good backup. Again, I don't tell you how to coordinate your troops, so stop telling me how to organise mine. Okay. If it works, I guess it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. What was that? I think we might be there. Target light missiles at their launch sites. Target's not. Fire. Oh, hi kids. Are you back with us? Yep. You might be going in hot. We need to contact the North Jackron command post first. We can't just land in the middle of a battlefield and start shooting people. Why not? Seriously, because we should align with the North Jackron plan first. Does that look like a plan to you? No. What, what are they doing? Advertising their incompetence? We've done loads of exercises attacking and defending walls. What have they been doing all these years? Right, I'm going. You can't. Yes, I can. Pax, you there? Yep, it's kicking off all right. Ready for some fun? Is we should think about this. Oh, I've seen, I've thought, I've calculated, and I've decided that the sooner we get in there, the sooner it will be over. I'm going to make myself useful. I'll see you two down there at some point. Are you three okay? Never better. Idris, can you see where the command post is? They're in an entrance to the mine, that one down there. I know where I'm going then. Ren? <sighs> I'd say I'd follow Isra, but... You're with me this time, alright? Let's go. In Season 2, Episode 1 of The Dex Legacy, you heard Kamara Elliott as Varian Dex, Kelsey Griffin as Isra Dex, Charlie Richards as Ren Dex, David S. Deer as Idris Moraweather, Stevie Skinner as Raya, Chris Gregory as Nathaniel Dex, Warren Graham as Tristan Crail, Annika Cordes as Dr. Osis Rivastava, Louis Watson as Dr. Devik Jha, and Emily Inkpen as Auto, with music by Dr. Alan Stroud. Season 2 of The Dex Legacy was recorded at Orpheus Studio in London by Richard Campbell. The Dex Legacy is written by me, Emily Inkpen, and produced by Alternative Stories. If you enjoyed that episode, please like, subscribe, and leave a review. It really does help. If you would like to support The Dex Legacy, you can. Just visit www.thedexlegacy.com forward slash support for links and details. Special thanks go out to our Season 2 Kickstarter supporters, including Twiglets Are Great To Eat, Don Flinspa, Tom Bridges, Jeff Park, Lernie Price, Keith Sanderson, Dave Chadwick, Caroline Mersey, Florence McGrath, Dan Taylor, Stephen Robb, and Tom Waddington for making Season 2 possible.